What's up Royals, I'm Kai, hope you're doing well. And I gotta ask you, is this a high intensity orange dream? Is it a real thing? I don't know, I'm gonna need your help with this one. Hey Royals, welcome to a midweek update and this time it's all about Orange Dream because I'm going to need your help identifying some of these animals. I purchased this guy. This is a Orange Dream clown and the breeder who produced them said that there was regular Orange Dream and high intensity Orange Dream in the clutch. Now he had I think two or three of these for sale. I asked him to take a picture of all three of them together and then of course I picked the one that was brightest that was most appealing to me. So I ended up with this guy. And honestly, he looks a little bit brighter than the typical orange dream clown. In fact, when I first got him and he shed, he actually looked better than my Enchi orange dream clown. But after a while, the Enchi orange dream clown uh, looked better, of course, because it's got more genes. But he still looks really, really good. Now, this season I patched out a few animals that I'm questioning whether or not it is high intensity. So let's see if we can settle this. So here it is again. This is the animal that I was holding. And supposedly this is a orange dream clown. Um, but there was both orange dream and high intensity orange dream in uh, the parents that produced him. So I don't know what exactly he is, but this season he has definitely produced some really really nice looking orange dream hatchlings uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put him away i think the hatchlings will be a little bit easier to wrangle but i just wanted to make sure to show you guys this one up close so you can see what the, he looks like um all right let me go put away all right so it's the level set i want to show you a couple orange dreams that did not come from that orange dream clown uh, this one came from a cinnamon orange dream and then this one came from an orange dream pied um, So we have some Hets involved here, but you can see that it has the dark and Then the banding and then the white outline a lot of whites on the side some flames and orange dream a lot of them do tend to have this um, these black lines running down the sides. These are called tracks. Orange dreams do have that, even though this one is a het pied, a 100% het pied. We know that for sure. But this one is not a het pied, and you can see that it has these tracks marks as well, just not as intense. But it does come like that. Uh, but you can see, like they're they're fairly similar. This one's got some more intensity orange on the side. I think this 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 one was uh, sired by an animal from uh, Shelby at uh, Mershon Morphs. And this one was sired by, actually I don't remember the breeder, but uh, <laughs> so sorry for whoever sold me the female that sired, uh, that, that produced this one, uh, not the sire. So this would be the dame is the uh, orange dream pied. All right, so let me put them away before I mix them up but i just wanted to give you a baseline orange dream do come in different variations there's some like very very textbook style orange dreams like this one and then there's some that's you know you can definitely tell it's orange dream but just not as um, pronounced so now let's look at some really funky orange dreams uh, you guys have seen both of these animals before just not together uh, this one right here was sired by that orange dream clown male. So you can see how much more intense the color is. And the female, uh, the parent to this one, is a uh, pastel leopard het clown. So there's no leopard here. There's no pastel here. Um, so the other, only other codom in the pairing was be the orange dream. So this has to be orange dream. I just can't imagine anything else uh, sneaking in there because there's only three codoms in the entire entire pairing. But yet, look at how bright this one is. And this one over here, you guys have seen her before. Um, she's got a little bit of, actually it's not even stuck shed. It's just the, the way the light is shining on her 
on her eyes. But anyway, um, this one is the Orange Dream Jungle Woma Yellow Belly Het Sunset Female. Um, obviously, from the side, you can see she's got more flaming and things like that coming up. She's got the uh, the mustache. Let's, let's check out the mustache. I just think the mustache is the coolest thing. <laughs> so she's got the mustache. You can see that. See how the, the nose is black above the two nostrils, and then there's a black between the two nostrils, and then below the two nostrils, it flares out. Um, this, yeah, you can see how close they are in color, right? But yet, this one shouldn't have any other genes besides Orange Dream. Now, this one also seems to have whoop, 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 a little bit of the mustache, but it's not connected between the nostrils, you can see. Right, you can see the two nostrils. It's got a little bit of black under the nostrils, the black above the nostrils, but it's not connected uh, right dead center in between the nostrils. Um, yet, there's no way I could have mixed this up. I mean, they are numbers of clutches away. This this female, the Orange Dream Jungle Woma Yellow Belly, is clutch number seven, and this one. Let me just double check. Yeah, this one right here is clutch number seventeen. So they're ten clutches away. There's no way I could have mixed that up. Um, but yeah, look how similar they are. Even their head, uh, this is so hard. I don't know how other YouTubers do this. How do you, it's like, it's like you have to use tranquilizer or something to keep these steady. Yeah. So you can see how similar the heads are, right? And the colorations and the pattern and even the blushing, let's see that blushing right there compared to that blushing right there. They're like almost identical. Look at that. So it's really strange how this one shouldn't have all those genes or any of those genes uh, besides Orange Dream could look this way. And uh, let me put them away before they make a mess on my paper. Yes, yeah, so I had to put them away. They're starting to make a mess. Um, they, they look so similar that I had to double check and pop them because the Orange Dream male is a, well, it's a male. And then the, the Jungle Woma Orange Dream Yellow Belly, that's a female. So I was able to tell them apart. Um, but I want to also show you this one. So this came out of uh, that same clutch from the Orange Dream Clown. And I'll show you the mom, uh, just, just so you guys would believe me that they, they produced this clutch. But just look at how intense orange this one is. Usually they're not as intense. Um, so clean. And this guy's getting brighter, just like the other one. They're both getting brighter and brighter. So uh, I, I just I just can't explain it. I mean, if this is high intensity orange dream then why didn't i get it last year why didn't i get a high intensity orange dream looking animal last season so there must be something going on um now there there is more opportunity for that orange dream clown to sire more clutches um, there might be another one in the incubator i'm not quite sure so we'll have to see what that one yields us but so far these two animals, I mean, they were spectacular out of the egg, but uh, th they just look even better now. And I, I don't know what's going on. So I, I want you guys to help me out here. Is, is this high intensity orange dream? Or do you think there's something else going on here? Because they shouldn't look this great. They just, they just shouldn't. This one is a leopard orange dream clown. Um, and I'll show you the mom. She's got leopard as well. Um, and the only other gene that she has would be pastel so let me go ahead and pull her out so here she is she's not huge but she is pretty active um, this is the mom i originally purchased her as a super pastel leopard het clown oh my god what is going on with these snakes um but but uh, a couple of the clutches their hatchlings were they're, they're not pastel so she can't be a super if she was a super they would all have to be at least pastel um, so yeah but she, she does look really really nice so maybe she's got something that she's passing down to the offsprings um, which could kind of help explain why that orange dream clown male didn't produce anything spectacular before um, well I shouldn't say didn't produce anything before it's just that there were some clutches where there were orange dreams but not um, overly overly um, great looking just ordinary looking so 
maybe this mom has something. So let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Does she have something? What do you think those, those hatchlings could be? Are they high intensity? Um, does high intensity orange dream have to be, you know, combined in a certain way in order to the high intensity to really show itself? I don't know. I, I just, I've never gotten a chance to have a regular orange dream and high intensity orange dream side by side to be able to see the difference. Um, so, and, and that orange dream clown male that I showed you, I'm really considering taking him off a of more market um, just because how he looks now. I mean, before he looked a little bit better um, than an orange dream, but now he's looking a ton better. So I'm considering it, but I don't have to because that uh, orange dream leopard clown, um, I'm considering keeping that one. So I don't, I don't know if I want to keep both of them, but maybe I'll keep one as a backup. I don't know. Oof, I am sweating. <laughs> Wrangling those snakes is not fun. Apparently, people say that ball pythons are boring. They just sit there, they're like a pet rock. But when you have a camera on, all of a sudden they become active and they want to move and go everywhere. Um, it took a lot of work to keep them still. Several takes to make this video. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you want to be informed of future uploads, make sure you're subscribed and ring that notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. Please share and remember, rules for life. Peace out.